All right, so let's get a little bit more comfortable using Cisco Packet Tracer and get familiar with the user interface. So at the top menu, we have uh, the regular applications menus like the new files, save as, saving files, open recent files, things like that. And uh, there isn't much we need to change in the menu bar because we have the toolbar here at the bottom of that that is uh, the all of the necessary things that we are going to use in the menu bar options and options that uh, we all have we have access to all of them in the toolbar so if you're using an, uh, an older version of the Cisco Packet Tracer that has a little bit of yellow bluish color theme, um, these menu are, uh, you can see them at the right of your screen. But uh, in the newer version that I'm using, um, it is uh, in top and it's close to the toolbar. So nothing special, it's just the select tool, uh, the zooming tool, I, th I think, it's, yeah, it's inspect. And the um, delete tool, here we can place note, we can place shapes, and things like that. We're gonna get familiar with the packets and uh, the tools up here. So, after that we have uh, the logical and physical tab so um, the program of Cisco Packet Tracer divide by two parts one of them is logical and one of them is physical the logical tab here we have a big screen that uh, allow us in the logical tab to set our stuff set our computers set our rotors set our switches and connect them together and have a connection in the logical part we can do that and in the physical part uh, we have uh, distance measurements like uh, we can uh, set uh, the, uh, the distance between two computers the distance between a mobile and the access point we can set things like that so in the physical tab we have a uh, home city we can create new cities from up uh, top right corner here um, we have create new city so I can create a new city so if you we want to simulate the connection between two cities right or when I click on a city we have a company here we can add another company as well we can have two buildings for simulating the uh, connection between two buildings and smaller uh, again we have uh, rooms in inside a company it's a floor inside that company that we have rooms and uh, inside of that again we can have a main wiring closet in the main wiring closet we can have uh, racks we can have tables and um, that's the last part here here also we have a menu for uh, moving things for example, uh, we're gonna move our computers on a, on the table, so we can do it in the uh, menu tab, which I'm gonna show you in the upcoming tutorials. Then the main part at the bottom, we have uh, the devices. So uh, you might have a little. Uh, you might see a little window over here it's called the scenarios and um, th this is just by act you can activate it by a little flash if you're using an older version of Cisco Packet Tracer I think it's hidden by default but in the newer version it's open by default so you can open it and close it by that so I'm gonna tell you what it does in the upcoming tutorials and uh, after that we have a real time and simulation which in simulation mode for uh, we can send uh, data from a computer to another computer and visually see the data transmitting uh, through the cables through the uh, devices so it's for testing purposes but for in real time uh, as the name says we can test it in real time so 
here is the time that is passing by this is the real time that we spent in the application and this is the time uh, I think multiplied by 30 each each second here is 13 seconds over there so we can change the time paste that it is moving just by clicking on it and going to edit here you can see oh it's each minute each minute is equal to 30 minutes uh, in the simulation so it's because uh, in the time consuming connections the connection go faster so we don't need to wait so long like in the real world and uh, the devices we have so many devices in the net networking devices we can we have rotors we have switches we have access point for uh, wireless devices and all kind of things in the end devices we have the pc laptop servers and uh, smartphones or uh, here here is the smartphones so then we have the uh, here is a smart city and here the things for a smart home like the cafe machine the ac we have uh, all kind of things that we are going to work with in the upcoming tutorials then we have cables all kind of cables we are going to use to connect our things together so in the next video we are going to see how we can connect two computers uh, the the most simple uh, connections that we can have connecting two computers and transmitting data through a, a LAN cable so make sure to subscribe and like the video it's gonna help me and help the channel a lot thank you bye bye